Aloha, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Thank you for being here and if you would like to subscribe then please don't forget to hit that little bell button so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Now let's get right into your reading. Spirit guides, please come here and guide our beautiful Pisces people towards their highest possible spiritual path, please. We thank you for your guided messages. Would you please show me what's in store for Pisces for money and career? What is it about for money and career for Pisces, please? Money and career for Pisces, please. What is it about? have a card for what is the unfavorable way please <laughs> oh man the unfavorable way <laughs> this is night loss <laughs> the unfavorable way For the unfavorable way, please. Thank you. One card for the favorable way, please. The favorable way, please, for Pisces, money, and career. Pisces, money, and career. Okay. And the outcome. Pisces. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the outcome for Pisces, money, and career, please. Thank you. Now we have. It's about the Eight of Wands. Unfavorable ways. Ten of Swords reversed. See if we can get an angel guidance card. Money and career for Pisces, please. Any advice for Pisces for money and career, please? Any advice inside this deck for Pisces for money and career, please? Okay. Seeing clearly, that's the zero. Now let me see if we can get clarifiers for this. Is there a clarifier, please, for what is it about for this eight of wands? Please clarifier for the eight of wands. Clarifier for the eight of wands. out that half of my curtain is outside the door <laughs> okay queen of cups clarifying the eight of wands do we get a clarifier for the three of wands please clarifier for the three of wands thank you clarifier for the ten of swords reversed please clarifier for the ten of swords reversed For the Ten of Swords reversed, please. Okay. Seven of Swords. Um, and a clarifier for the High Priestess, please, for the outcome. Thank you. Nine of Wands. Okay, I think we're done shuffling. We'll go right into your reading.
Pisces, what is it about? You had the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. With the Eight of Wands, you can expect surprising success. This is coming in really quickly. This is a good influence, so maybe there's somebody around you who helps you. You can trust the universe or the angels or your God, whatever you believe in, um, that they are by your side and they're helping you. But if the luck is coming in form of money, then please don't go into spending it all too quickly. Like if you have been winning big at the... At the at the lottery, let's say, then please don't just spend all of it in one day because you will need it later. Then we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups says there is helpful, empathetic female around you. It doesn't necessarily have to be female because the, um, just because there is a woman on the picture, it doesn't mean this person is female. Um, it's just the female energy inside this person that's represented here. So basically there is somebody very helpful, empathetic, somebody nurturing around you, somebody who is maybe a healer or an an artist and this person is helping you really big then we have the unfavorable way so what not to do we have the three of wands and the seven of wands wands are always about Aries Leo Sagittarius this is fire and passionate energy um, for the three of wands it could be that there is a tough competition um, it could be that you have to stand up for yourself it could be that you should avoid any form of greed or envy that's around you. So if somebody comes up to you and says, look at this third person over there, um, they have just had their pay raise and they don't even deserve it, then you don't go into this energy of envy, which is brought to your door. You just say, no, I think that any person on earth is allowed to earn as much as they want and I wish for everyone to be happy, no matter if it's this person or somebody else. So just step away and step aside from any form of envy that is carried to your doorstep, okay? Um, just keep away from any form of defamation that's going on. So if people at your job are talking badly about some person, don't get involved in this talk. Yeah, this is the unfavorable way at the moment. Do not take any sides. If there is a conflict, yeah, and this card is a little bit speaking about it. If, if there is some conflict and competition, don't take sides. Just stand for yourself. Say that you are happy with anyone winning and that you are not participating in in the conflict so to say you're you're participating in your job that's no problem but not in the conflict that is carried out at the job okay um with the seven of wands um basically that's yeah that's actually the the negative talking at your job let's stay more with the three of wands this is the good basis the secure um foundation for what you want so if that is coming up in the more unfavorable way, this is meaning that you should, in all your endeavors, take care that the basis is secure. Take care that you don't build your house on sand. If you have to sign a contract, be careful. Maybe don't sign it at all. Say, I'm, I'm going to need three days or a week uh, to read it through and then I will sign it or something like that. But don't do it at the moment. Be very careful what is standing in the contract. Read everything into detail. And um, maybe don't sign anything right now, but better a little bit later when you have gone through the details thoroughly. Okay, so this is basically telling you not to, to take part in anything which is about defamation of third parties. Then in the more favorable way, we have the Ten of Swords reversed and the Seven of Swords. Basically, this is the card of goodbye and that is the card of the thief. So you say goodbye to some form of thievery here. This card can also stand for not only for theft, but cunningness, betrayal, lies, the, you know, the intrigues at your workplace, maybe. So you're saying goodbye to that. You're turning your back and saying, no, thank you. I don't want to have anything to do with these unfair games that you guys are playing here. 
I, I don't want to take part in this anymore. Maybe you're leaving your job entirely or maybe you get your two weeks notice, but it's for the better because you don't want to be in such surroundings where there is only competition, thievery, betrayal, intrigues. You don't want that. That's not nurturing for your soul. So it's good for you to say with the Ten of Swords reverse to say goodbye to all of this. Yeah. Um, so this is also talking about sudden changes and the sudden changes we had before here with the eight of wands This is also a very quick energy. So maybe things are changing in your life very quickly But it's for the better. So if this job is gone, you're absolutely happy later on Yeah, there's nothing to feel sorry for if because if you leave such a negative or a toxic workplace Then there's not, nothing negative about that, right? I mean, there's a period of uncertainty maybe but in the end, you will be glad that you left this place. Yeah? And also, such endeavors are always destined to fail. If somebody is trying to win a game with unfair play, they might win this game, this, on, this one single battle, but they don't win the entire war. Okay, So let them have their, their so-called victory here, but you leave because you don't want to have anything to do with this negative talk here. Um, then we have for your outcome, the high priestess reversed and the nine of wands. Again, we've got a, whoop, <laughs> we've got a lot of wands, the eight of wands, the seven of wands, um, and the nine of wands. So there is a lot of, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy around you. Maybe you have such a person around you. Also, there is a lot about fire, passion, competition, um, fighting for what you think is valuable. And here with this nine of wands, you're a little bit guarded. You have your guards up. You know that there are some uh, tricksters around you and you try to be, you know, keeping your secrets, not putting everything to the forefront, not telling all the details about yourself because you know somebody could try to use it against you as we had with the seven of wands and seven of swords. So you are already guarded. You are already knowing what's going on behind the scenes and you try to take precautions for it yeah also it can sometimes mean that you're a little bit afraid of this change which is coming towards you here with the ten of swords reversed so you know that uh, an old phase is ending and a new phase is beginning and you're a little bit afraid because the time between when the old thing that has ended and a new thing that will start is always a time of a little bit uncertainty yeah so maybe you feel like you're a little bit on the fence and um with the high priestess Definitely, it could be that you will become somebody who is just like that energy, a healer, an artist, somebody who helps other people, somebody who is in tune with their emotions, who is in tune with their higher self, who get information from the higher self. Maybe you even go into some form of psychic um, healing job. yeah. Um, or there is somebody around you with this kind of job. Um, but as it comes out in your outcome, so I have the feeling that it's more you and not somebody around you. Um, it also say, is saying don't be too passive and just sit there and, and hope for a survivor to come and help. No, go more into... I wouldn't say directly, yeah, into action because we have the action here represented in the, in the wand. So you can go into action, but careful action not just you know taking the win that you had here and spending it all and not just uh, signing every contact they uh, contract they put in front of your nose but go on carefully go step by step do it consciously think about the details try to ponder which one is the right choice for you is is that signing the contract really the right one for you or is there a way you can make this contract better for you then you can just propose it to the people yeah you can say okay can we change this and this and this inside the contract so it's it will be perfect for me then so uh, try not to be too passive but trust your inner guidance yeah your inner guidance is is actually smarter than most advice you will get from the outside yeah people mean well they give you a lot of advice but let's be honest, you, you know better and you know for yourself what's right for you, okay? Um, also, uh, for an advice, I've got the 
full here for you. The full card means that new beginning. So after the 10 of swords, after this ending, comes the new beginning and you will have a change of, of perspective. This is why this dog is standing in a, in a headstand here, because you're changing perspectives. You're suddenly seeing things from a different angle and you're starting a new journey here. So definitely you're suddenly seeing more clearly than you did before. During all of this conflict here with the seven of wands and with the seven of swords you didn't really have the feeling you see clearly but now after you have freed yourself from all of that after you left this toxic environment you can see clearly and this card is saying it's time to not only see things from a different perspective but it's also time to acknowledge that you have specific and great talents and you have fantastic possibilities of visualizing something which is why the high priestess came up here for you don't be afraid um, if if the momentum that you had before will stop for a moment or stagnate. So if there is a little pause, don't think that everything is over now. It's just a pause yeah, of momentum. So when you think about your plans, uh, it won't take long anymore. Take your unique talents and allow yourself to, to help, um, allow your talents to help you through this phase. Yeah, so you're going from this toxic environment towards your higher self, towards a new beginning. And that's a good thing for you, Pisces. Now, let me give you a one last card. Oh, <laughs> already dropped out. I promise to honor myself. There we go. This is how you honor your higher self. Yeah, I promise to honor myself. That's a good, good advice for you here. And I'm glad you will make it because this environment here with the seven of swords and the seven of wands, this is just fighting and competition and, uh, you know, this kind of intrigue stuff. This is nothing for you. You don't need this. You're better than this, right? I hope you liked the reading. If you did, please leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you. I want to remind you that love is the answer and you are priceless. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye for now.